Hey, it's Paul Bayes with GreatDad.com, and I'm here with Hayden. And today we've got a kind of a little bit of a serious uh, subject because we've got a product for that covers nausea and retching, uh, and, vomiting, retching and, vomiting. and vomiting, all that kind of stuff. And it's called the Relief Band 2.0. Lifesaver. And, <laughs> lifesaver? What? Not lifesaver. It's, it is a lifesaver. When, uh, uh, even though a lot of the uses of this actually are for people with a lot more complicated and uh, more difficult conditions like people with uh, cancer going through chemotherapy or pregnant women, it also works just for regular nausea related to motion sickness from amusement parks or, you know, uh, boat Boats, rides. Yeah. Boat rides. If you have seasickness, that's right. right. So we had looked before at the, the Relief Band 1.0 that came in a package like that. I've got one on my wrist. And it had this form factor that was kind of simple. And the the whole idea is that it is it stimulates the nerve that is underneath the, the wrist and it sends intermittent pulses through through your uh, through your nerves and affects the vargus nerve that connects the brain and the stomach and interrupts the 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 signals from the stomach to the brain saying that you need to vomit. And the, 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 there have been studies on this, and it's recommended by a lot of doctors uh, because it takes the place of taking Drownmean or other kind of drugs uh, to eliminate that nausea. And people who have, like we say, more serious conditions are using this very effectively. And we've reviewed it for a Pregnancy Magazine, this 1.0, and we'll review it as well for uh, 2.0. Today we're looking at the Relief Band 2.0. But, but I wanted to... Uh, I want to make sure that Hayden got in on this because it, it worked for him. So let's, um, do you want to talk about what it did for you first and then we'll talk about the, the so features? I was about to throw up, I had <laughs> this thing right on me and I did not have to throw up or vomit or whatever because that is, if you like throw up, it's so disgusting and it's not a fun <laughs> experience. On What'd your you, end or everyone else's end, and it's just like absolutely disgusting, and then your mouth hurts and your throat hurts. So this yeah, so saved works. me, and I did not have to throw up because I did. I was having a good day. Works as advertised. Yeah. So the it's very simple. You wear it. You wear it, and it just works. And this one, uh, I think, is it's not quite as attractive. It's a little. It's more uh, like uh, it's. It's a plastic band. It's. Um, it's like you I don't throw think it, it says waterproof. Emergency. It takes a battery to use, and the new one. The new one is all stylish. It looks like a smart watch. It's yeah. easy to like. So if I put this on, I don't think you would really think like. Oh, the other way around, like though. Or no, no. Do they? Do, like, where do the? Where's the pulser? Is it underneath here? Yeah, it's on the bottom. Oh, so they. This one you had to wear it underneath the wrist. So on that one you had to always like turn your wrist up. On this one, you have you have a nice band now because now it's rubber and not um, what is that like fabric? That's yeah. This one's like obviously a, a 1.0 version. Yeah, but this one's all fancy and everything. It has a little clip for the thing, which that one doesn't for some reason. But the charging mechanism is like um. Oh yeah, we should show it's, 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 we should show that because it's kind of it's very different. It's from kind of. Ones. Because the last one uses a complicated battery, and if you're in a tough situation, if you didn't have a battery, you're like, oh no. Well, I guess I'll just throw up over here, but yeah, this one uses a USB cable yeah, use a MagSafe. to this little thing, and you can just pop that right on there, It'll plug it into your then. car USB, like if you're on a boat and you have your little um, USB to charge your phone, just plug that right in, or your portable charger, why not? So, on the other one, hand, it d does require this special MagSafe thing, so it's Which another cable out, to carry around, and it also, yeah, like you say... I would have preferred micro USB just because it's... Yeah, but I think they were trying to do something with it that's more water resistant. I don't yeah. think it's waterproof, but I think it's water resistant. Yeah, does it say right here? Power on... Um, see up button. Hmm. Power on... Battery charge indicator. It's got a battery charge indicator. And then it also and has, context. instead of... Because that one has five levels of... Um, what is it? Therapy? Char yeah, char the intensity of the charging. Intensity, and this one has 10 levels, so you can be more precise because on that one, if it went from 1 to 2, it would be like a very big difference. Right. So it's much better to have this. And also, if you're not feeling any of the little pulses or whatnot, you can also use the included um, the gel, the conductivity gel. And each one of those costs, what, $10? I think 
I think they're fourteen ninety five. They're not. Yeah, uh, they're not cheap. Dollars. They're not cheap for what it is, but it, it will help if you really need it. It's this this little guy's conductivity just gel. Just some gel. Belt. And it, um, yeah, I just put a little bit on here. It's good for fifty, I think, uses they say, um, but it helps the conductivity. The old old style one goes for eighty nine ninety five, and the new one is a hundred and seventy seventy five bucks, hundred seventy four yeah. ninety nine on Amazon. So the price is raised. The price, yeah, for the for the form factor, I think I've got a question in about whether there is a difference in any other way than we mentioned between the two, but I think it's it's really the same the same technology. But in, so it's a it's a fairly large amount of money. But if you suffer from nausea in a once been a you know, these different situations, yeah, well, worth, worth. Uh, well worth the pennies. Now, um, we, we will say that uh, my daughter suffers from a different type of dizziness and nausea, and for her condition, uh, it did not work for her, and it was kind of disappointing. She gets these bouts of nausea, nausea and dizziness where she's, she has to lie down and lie down flat, and they can last up to 72 hours. A lot more debilitating than just regular seasickness. Yeah, it did not work for that, at least in the times that we've we've tried it. But, but we, with less. But we pack it along, and yeah. she gets it first, um, and then Hayden gets it second if it doesn't work for her. So the 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 the, the idea is the same thing. <laughs> when you turn it on, it is a shock, and at the lowest levels, um, you kind of do get used to the shock. It it comes on every. Every couple seconds, it's intermittent. Yeah. But I feel for this one, it's like less of a shock. It's more it like the like 10 was the 5 on that one. But it was more, you could really, like, know its intensity. Because <laughs> as you see, like, it it's is, going crazy. <laughs> if you ever have uh, touched a wire on, a like, a place where animals are kept, like a... Like oh, don't do that. Bad don't, idea. Don't, it's not going to give you the same sensation. Yeah, you're if not you're going to want... have nausea, don't do that. <laughs> But you can see how it does affect what the brain is doing because, like I, now now I've got it on. Obviously, I kind of jumped the first time. You're supposed to feel this tingling time. feeling, but if you don't feel that, use the contact. But you get used to it really fast, and it's almost it's kind like of, okay. It's kind it's of amusing fine. after after you try like, it first whoa, time, this and it will amuse your friends off. if you make them uh, try it because they will be literally shocked the first time they do it. Okay, so that's the Relief Band 1.0 at eighty nine ninety five, or the Relief Band 2.0 at $175. We recommend it. And, um, good product. Yeah, good product. Doesn't and work keeps, for really, really specific things. Doesn't work for everyone. If you have everybody. common seasickness or car sickness, it'll work completely fine. But I know that they recommend it also for all these other, other conditions, including trolley and cars, boating and sick seasickness, but also um, morning sickness. Motion chemo sickness from virtual reality, you see. We're entering into the age of video games and all that crazy. Chemotherapy, induced nausea, and post-operative nausea. Maybe you should have tried that when we went to the virtual reality thing. Yeah, that might have helped. Should've I, I should have brought that along. Darn. Left it, left it in the suitcase. Yep. <laughs> Who knew? Okay, thanks a lot. Paul Bannis with GreatDad.com. He's Hayden. Make sure to subscribe, like, all the rest. Turn on those notifications. Time. Make sure you see our videos. Bye. First. Leave a comment and all that.